Hi Libra, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna do a uh, reading here in a moment. Just a couple things here before we get started. Um, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Um, it will be for the person on your mind, what they're thinking about you feeling their upcoming actions their intentions love notes and guidance uh, also i am giving away one free personal reading each month to enter you just need to be a subscriber like the video and leave a comment uh, so good luck if you like to enter and let's get started here with your reading all right so your very first card that already popped up is number 22 which is blessed really nice energy this is um i feel here right this is spirit saying uh, they're trying to move you towards your blessings here some of you may be seeing seeing repeating twos that can be an indication right a synchronicity that your angels and your guides are trying to send you at this time let's see what else comes out oh wow serendipity okay i also see this as ascending to a higher level raising your vibration can be a time where you attract uh, positive things in your life and it can be that lucky clover energy as well really nice number 18 which is nine and the numbers may be important to you or like i said you may be seeing these numbers right as signs from your angels and your guides oh and look at that number 14 which is five truth be told okay <clears throat> So this can be an indication here, right? Love here, definitely a lot of uh, rose petals flying. Uh, there could be some sort of truth here that's revealed. Maybe somebody here is interested or somebody has feelings, okay? I feel like too, something could be ta being taken to the next level um, or this can really just be about being real with yourself. But look at this, bottom of the deck, you have number 15, which is six, message in a bottle. So, uh, looks like there's some sort of message here that's coming. Some of you, I'm feeling the energy too. Could be somebody long distance, maybe you haven't heard from in a while. Uh, for others, it just, I, I feel like, I never usually get this with this card, but I feel like for some of you, this could be a long time waiting, okay? Maybe for a message, right? Because bottles, you're right, you put a message in a bottle, it doesn't really get there too soon, okay? So let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's see what comes out. All right. We're going to look at past, present, future. We'll clarify what's needed as well. And so let's see what the energy is here for Libra. What can you show Libra? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What can you show Libra? All right. Okay, wow, first card you have out is a star card, strong Aquarius energy. We have the two of coin, and we have the seven of cups, and I feel like I wanna pull one more here for you. And we have here the five of coin. Bottom of the deck here we have the devil, strong Capricorn energy, all right. So what I'm picking up here, Libra, I almost feel here in your recent past, um, I almost feel like you may have decided to move on from a past situation, a past situation where you weren't feeling uh, balanced, maybe feeling like somebody here wasn't putting in the time and the effort into a connection or relationship definitely shows me here uh, mixed emotions, maybe um, an unbalanced right maybe even toxic energy i get here too with the devil but you could just be dealing with a capricorn i feel like for some of you this could be an on and off situation all right with somebody here or you just felt like it was unbalanced not a healthy situation and i almost feel like with this blessed card here you may you may be thinking about moving on from a situation or moving forward towards something that you may feel right um is you know better for you okay we're gonna see what the near future energy shows here i mean not the near future the current energy then we do near future energy okay 
So uh, we have the Judgment card, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Hangman, and we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, interesting. Bottom of the deck still we have here the, the Devil card. All right. Yeah, I feel like there's a decision here, right? Okay, learning from your past here, maybe reflecting on the decisions and choices that you've made in the past. I feel like you go back and forth with this situation. You do have the Ten of Cups here. So I feel like this is somebody that you you feel happy when you're with this person. Of course, when things are going good, um, you know, with uh, the devil energy there, it may be a situation where, right, things aren't always good. But it feels like at times this was an imbalanced situation. You have here the Seven of Cups and you have the Hangman, right? Yeah, somebody left you hanging here, okay? Left you with a lot of questions here, right? Maybe didn't see a whole lot of movement. You have the Seven of Wands and you also have the Five of Coin. Okay, so I feel like you have had challenges here with somebody, okay, where things have not been consistent with this person at all, all right? I'm going to, um, we have here, we have fire, we have earth, we have water. Uh, do we have swords energy? Not seeing swords energy. So we have all the energies on the board, but... Um, Oh, here it is. <laughs> There's your swords energy. Yeah, I feel like this is a situation that you've been stuck in, Libra. Okay, I feel like this is a situation that you can't get off your mind, even though some of you um, may be right trying to move forward, trying to move past a situation. I'm going to clarify that to a coin. Why was the situation imbalanced here? Why was the situation imbalanced here? Okay, three of swords, eight of wands, nine of pentacles. Look at that. There's the devil card again. Bottom of the deck, two of swords. All right. So you were dealing with someone who I feel, one, never really gave you clarity. Two, was very indecisive here. Some of you, I feel like there is travel distance between you and this person. Nine of Pentacles and the Devil card here, all right? You know, I'm almost feeling here, Libra, this may be a karmic situation where this was a situation where you had to really, right, learn a lot about yourself, um, learn that you deserve more than this person was giving right or has given in the connection or relationship because this feels like somebody here who hasn't really made a whole lot of effort okay it feels like somebody here who was keeping things casual you know may have even been right a um i'm just gonna say an intimate encounter <laughs> right for some of you not all of you but i'm going to clarify this ten of cups right Okay, look at that. Yeah, Eight of Swords again, the Hangman, the Magician, Two of Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're dealing with somebody here, Libra. They just really wasn't, you know, and there you are on the bottom of the deck, the Justice card. This was someone who wasn't really giving you clarity in um, this situation. And what I mean by that. I feel like this person really never, right, they were holding on to you, right, they were holding on to you, making you feel stuck, but this was somebody who was never really kind of giving you that indication of where the connection or the relationship was going. This is someone I feel here, um, they were trying to keep you in limbo is what I see, okay? Let's see what the near future energy is because you have truth but told be told. So this could be about you being honest with yourself. This could be this person, right? Opening up, right? Or it could even be something completely different. Let's see what the tarot has to say here. All right. Okay, look at that. Eight of Swords. The world card change there. Someone keeping you stuck, okay? And I feel like this is about you knowing, right? what you need here ace of coin and king of wands all right bottom of the deck six of coin 
So I feel like through this experience, Libra, I feel like you have realized, you've reflected on the past here, and you realize that this is somebody who was keeping you stuck, okay? Somebody here that was keeping you stuck here. You have the world card. I feel like you know that things need to change. Some of you, like I said, there could be travel distance. That could be a big factor here if somebody's trying to decide right what they want here uh for the future so this could be a you know really a decision your person is trying to make here but the distance right may be a big factor for some of you but i feel like there this is an indication here that change is needed you could be dealing with an aquarius a taurus a scorpio or a leo we also have here the ace of coin and we have the king of wands the change here is that this person needs to take the needed action, right? To build something for the future, right? To build towards something stable, something committed, maybe possibly even marriage, depending what you want here. You have the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you want this person, look at that, magician, ten of pentacles. You want this person to take the needed action, and there you are, uh, Libra justice card okay so what i'm going to do here it does feel like there's some sort of new cycle here that's about to begin here in the near future truth be told here some of you it may be your own awakening realization about this person i'm going to say for some of you um could be something else i want to clarify I'm, i think i'm going to clarify the world card okay because there is some sort of new beginning, new cycle here, right? Why is the world card here, please? We have the King of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Queen of Swords. Look at that. We have um, a counterpart there, okay? And I've been saying this all week. I feel like there's a lot of unions, okay? Or you being um, connected with your soulmate, uh during this time because these these pairs right the kings and the queens the emperors and the empresses have been coming out all week and sometimes multiple times in the readings and you have the ten of pentacles okay so i feel like libra there's some sort of relationship here some sort of change something i do feel here that's going to build uh for the long term and some of you right you've got that message in a bottle all right I feel here you're going to get some sort of communication here from somebody. Now, I'm going to say, for some of you, it can be a new person coming in your life. If you've already decided to move on from this person, right, maybe you've had that realization, I feel like it's this person. But for others, if you, right, there's some of you that are going to be in the phase right now that you're still thinking about this person here, um, I feel like you're going to get communication from this person, okay? And like I said, it's been slow to receive communication from this person. I do feel Libra here with the Queen of Swords, your guard is up. Definitely see your guard up here, and I feel like you're open to communicating, and it's that energy I feel like you want to know what this person is going to say, because this is somebody here who in the, in the past was not making any clear decisions or giving you, you know, that vision of what things uh, look like in the future or what the potential was. So I do feel like you're going to get communication from this person. Uh, we'll know more about what your person's thinking and feeling and their intentions in the extended. But I want to clarify this King of Wands, right? See if we can get indication who this is. Now, some of you, like I said, it's going to be somebody new. Some of you, I feel here, it's going to be somebody here you know. Why is the King of Wands here, please? Okay, we have the Page of Swords. Ooh, someone's been spying on you. Three of Cups. Ten of Wands, Judgment, all right? Bottom of the deck here, you have the Page of Cups. Okay, I feel like for a lot of you, Libra, this is going to be somebody you know. But for others, like I said, if you have already made the decision to move on, right? Um, because everybody's, I'm just going to say, there's no right or wrong answer here. Everybody's on a different journey. So some of you, right, you may have just been dealing with someone who is indecisive, 
right? A newer connection. Some of you may have been dealing with somebody for a long time, right? A back and forth on and off. And maybe now you're just coming to that realization, you know, this is just somebody who's keeping me stuck and you're deciding to move on. So I feel like with this page of cups, some of you, it's going to be somebody new. Some of you, this is going to be the person on your mind. And I feel like this person here is reaching out to you with that message. Okay. They're going to feel it out. They're going to see how you respond. Um, you do have the page of swords, the three of cups, the ten of wands and the judgment. So this is someone I feel who's been very curious about what you've been up to. Maybe they're seeing you somehow uh, spending time with friends or going out. And um, I feel like this is somebody who is kind of held back a bit, right? Maybe struggled about reaching out to you. And you got judgment here. So this is someone they're making the decision, right? They're making the decision to come towards you. Okay, you got judgment here as well. Two times here in your reading. Some of you, this is somebody, like I said, there's a revisit here. Like I said, you're, you're showing up as the Queen of Swords. If this is somebody that you already know, you're showing up as the Queen of Swords and you're, you're open to communication, but I feel like you really got your guard up here because I feel there's an energy here that spirit, your angels, your higher power is moving you towards being real with yourself, right? Being honest and true to yourself about this situation, okay? And that's part of your journey here. That's part of your growth with the serendipity. I'm gonna say for some of you, you could even with the serendipity run into this person, whether it's somebody new or somebody you already know here, okay? So Libra, I'm gonna take this to the extent of we're gonna see how it plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel up.